The IBIS-2 study was a study of women at high risk of breast cancer, mostly because they had a family history, who were postmenopausal. And in this trial, we gave a drug called anastrozole, which is used to treat breast cancer in women at high risk without cancer. We don't completely understand exactly what causes breast cancer, but what's very clear is that estrogen is very, very important. Um, estrogen is a stimulus to breast cells to divide. There are two drugs that have actually been found to work in preventing breast cancer. The first was tamoxifen, which was originally used to treat breast cancer and was then found to prevent it as well. And it works by blocking estrogens attaching to the estrogen receptor so that uh, they have, estrogen has to attach to the receptor before it can cause cells to divide. This new drug, anastrozole, is in a, a very different class. It's called an aromatase inhibitor, and it actually prevents the production of estrogen in the first place, so there's no estrogen around. It's not a question of blocking the receptor, it's a question of eliminating the estrogen in the first place. Every woman took a tablet. It was either the active ingredient or a placebo. So we got a completely fair comparison of what this drug did, independent of any other factors. The results were very, very positive. We had a 53% reduction in new breast cancers in the group that was treated. I think there's a big challenge in converting important new scientific findings into routine care. We've seen this in many places. Um, there are regulatory problems in the sense that this drug is not licensed for prevention, and it's off patent, so it may take some time to get that to happen. There needs to be a general acceptance, primarily amongst general practitioners, but also the general public, that cancer is preventable. And just like heart disease, we should be seriously trying to prevent it rather than just treating it. There are many steps. One is we need to um, get this more widely accepted. We need regulatory approval. We need approval by the NICE committee uh, to begin to make this a more routine activity, much as taking a statin for, for, women, for men and women at, with high cholesterol is now standard. The other thing we need is longer follow-up. The results were for a median follow-up of five years. Uh, we have indirect evidence that, in fact, the benefits are going to last longer than five years, 10, 15 years. So we need to do the long follow-up to see if that's actually going to be true. I think we have to start in terms of preventing cancer on a very cautious sort of way. We know these drugs have some side effects, so we focus our original efforts on women at high risk who stand to benefit the most so that the chances that the benefits will outweigh any side effects or harms will be greater. What we are planning to do now is to begin to evaluate prevention in long-term survivors of breast cancer. Women that either have a positive node or a large tumor actually have a very high rate of second cancers and late recurrences. And we want to evaluate some of our new ideas in this population, which is more efficient than actually trying to do a large prevention trial, which is very expensive.